In this video, we're going to use Invivo 10, and we're going to talk about what happens when you make a mistake. What happens when you code a bit of text to the wrong node? How do you uncode text? So to do this, we're going to cause ourselves a little bit of a problem in our data set that we've been using. Um, in the first question, it asks how many times the parent read the book with their child. And in this case, the parent has answered three times. So I'm going to highlight that. And by accident, I'm just going to drag and drop that to the wrong node. I'm going to, dra I'm going to drop, drag and drop that to the five times child node. And you can see I've got the coding stripes turned on, so we can actually see what's happened there, that it's actually coded into times read, three times, and five times. I know that can't be right, so I need to get rid of that five times code. Um, how do you go about doing that? Well, there actually are two ways to do that. One is to go up to the Analyze tab, and you see the Uncode Selection At item. And because it's coded at several nodes, I'm going to choose existing nodes. And we're going to see all the nodes that it's coded at. And you'll notice the ones uh, where it has coding are, are highlighted more. They're in this bright blue color instead of sort of grayed out here. And I re remember that the one we want to uncode is five times. We do not want it coded at that child node. So I'm going to check the box there and click OK. And it takes the coding away, just as simple as that. Now, there's another way to do that, so we're going to cause ourselves the same problem one more time. Uh, this time I'm going to drop it into four times. And we see, we can tell that's happening over here by looking at the coding stripes. Well, if I want to get rid of that four times, I could go up to the Analyze tab, but there's even an easier way. While it's highlighted, if I right-click, we have the Uncode Selection choice. And we have, the, if we'll just go right over to Uncode Selection at Existing Nodes then we can do it exactly the same way that we did it previously. And of course I need to look for the one that I need to uncode it at, which is four times. I'll click the checkbox, click OK, and the coding is gone. That's all there is to it.